It's time for another update. This is uh, the printing of the TARDIS base. I'm doing another one. The first one warped, which was this one. I had really bad warping, so I had to redo it. This time, there were two versions I discovered in the, uh, in the file. There was this version, which is the hollow version of the base. And there was a solid version. So this time I printed the solid version because I think I'm going to use it as a pencil or like a pen pencil holder when it's finished. So having a base is important. And I've also printed it with a brim this time to try and stop the warping on the corners. Now you can see, probably, that the brim has lifted slightly in that corner and also in that corner. I'm not sure how well that's focusing. But uh, yeah, there you go. But that's okay because as long as the main structure doesn't warp it's okay the brim can do what it wants i don't care because it's going to be thrown away so that's fine there is another uh, uh, addition to our 3d printer and that's the spool holder here which has space for i think three maybe four might be a bit tight with four but other three or four spools i've only got the black at the moment i need to order some more um although the although it looks quite nice it's the blue eagle labs one this is uh, engraved with their logo it's quite it looks quite nice but it's not very practical for actually adding and removing the spools because they're held in with these little bolts at the end. So in order to add or remove the spool, you have to take the whole thing apart, basically, to the whole side off. And it would be much better if they had like some sort of mechanism to remove just the top bar, like a spring-loaded um, beam or something, I don't know. But just a, an easier way to replace the spools would be appreciated, but it's uh, it's doing the job. So at least I'm going to sit here and constantly feed spool off. It's just looking after itself now, so I can let it get on with it. Um, I don't think there's anything else to add at the moment. Oh, I have printed the... Uh, I'll try and get it. There we go. I've printed the front of the TARDIS. So that's the front door there. I think it... No, but that's obviously... How it looks so pretty much similar to the other ones, although it's got a little hatch on there and a handle printed on it. So that's the front door. This is the base. So it's coming on. A few more things to go. Should have enough PLA to finish the print. And uh, I'll be updating you again later. All right. Check it out. We have all the pieces printed for the TARDIS. So this is the base here, and then these are the pieces that sit inside the base like that. Obviously the four sides, there's the front door. And then three of these, the other three are exactly the same. This is the top bit, and the uh, sides go in this little groove here. And then this is the top of the TARDIS, which just sits in... Which way it goes that way around, so that sits in there like that, and then that sits on top of everything. So, in theory, it should all just slide together. There's little grooves here, and little flanges here, so it should all fit together. I'm guessing I'll need to do some fettling and fiddling to make them all fit because I'm not entirely convinced. Well, I'm pretty sure they, um won't go in first time I'm gonna to have to sand them down probably or ream these holes out a bit more to make it all fit but yeah assembly and then I guess I need to put some paint on it because the uh, TARDIS isn't black stay tuned well here's the assembled model completely put together now uh, actually it's not fully complete because I still need to print the uh, light the housing for the lamp at the top which is a very small piece i don't know how well that's going to turn out but we'll give it a go um but yeah it was a slightly interesting job putting it together it was took quite a long time to ream out all the little um grooves to get the panels to fit in properly and then getting it all to fit in the base took a quite a bit of effort too but yeah it turned out quite nice really quite happy with that so I'm gonna give it some paint and uh, we'll print the lamp housing 
and I guess the next time you'll see it, well, it'll either be complete or I'll be, do another quick update at some point. We'll see. But that's not, not looking too bad, I don't think. Quite happy with that. So, as promised, here is the finished TARDIS. It's still been painted. I've done some weathering as well. Um, see door handles, little hatch. I did have a sticker on here, but it fell off, so I need to reprint that and stick it back on again. But um, I think it looks pretty good. Oh, and the light on top, I haven't done that yet. That's printed out. It still needs to be painted and stuck on. But I'm figuring out what to do with that. I'm also debating the windows at the moment because I mean it looks quite nice as it is, but you can see into it. And obviously on the real TARDIS you can't see in through the windows. So I might try um, putting something behind the windows to block them off. Um, but then I don't know what to do with the window frames because I'm thinking probably make the back of the windows white. Which would then mean I have to paint the frames blue. I've been looking at photos of the TARDIS online, and um, there seems to be different versions. Some of them have white frames, some of them have blue frames. So I think I'm going to have to just experiment and see what I come up with. But it's a pretty good little project. This one I've enjoyed making it. So uh, there'll be more in future, no doubt. Thanks for watching.